everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I want to show you guys my, and I'm calling it my feather leather journal, because I want to add feathers to our faux leather. I showed you guys how to make a faux leather journal, and if you want to see and get caught up with us, I'll put that on the end screen so you guys can go check out the playlist, Okay. And what I want to do today is I have some feathers that I cut out from my Cricut machine. So they're iron on. Okay, so I'm going to iron those on today. And I also want to take some of my spackling. And it's just from uh, Home Depot is where I got it. And it's just, uh, just spackling. Works great, just like texture paste, but way cheaper. And mine is actually pink, and then when it dries, it is white. So that's just what I happen to grab. So I want to use that today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to add on the front here my feather stencil. And I think this is down in my play or in my Amazon links. Just let me know if it's not. But this is my feather stencil. I love using it on journals. It's so much fun. Um, I have some little. Uh, palette knives to do that and put the speckling on there. So I just have, I don't, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. Um, and then I have a closure I want to work on today. If we have time, I want to add a closure here and some elastic cord and it's just a uh, jewelry elastic cord. I think I got this. Uh, I, I actually don't know. I've had it hanging around for years. So I'm sure it's just at like craft store, probably maybe Walmart or something like that. It's just elastic cords and I had yellow and I just coffee dyed it. You can see I just made it all grungy and just got it all coffee dyed. Okay. So we got that. And then the other day I showed you guys how to make these fun. Uh, these are made out of wine corks and, um, what I want to do, it's wine corks and wax and just a stamp on top of it. So this one's a little tree. And I thought that would go good with this. Um, and uh, I want to use it as a closure on the front here when it's all said and done. So I have these in my Etsy shop too. And they're really fun. You get a set of three of them. You get a butterfly. And it comes with a cute little uh, bulb pin with some gems on it. Each one is totally different. So you get a butterfly, a tree, and then a thank you. Uh, a fun thank you little charm. And these are great just to hang off like your journals and danglers and different things like that. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to come check them out, I'll put the Etsy link down below and uh, you guys come check it out. And even if you don't purchase anything, just come, you know, favor my shop. That helps me out so much. But I did show you guys how to make these the other day. So I'll make sure to put that on the end screen too. Okay. So that's what I want to incorporate today with the closure. And we're going to just play around and um, see what we can come up with with it. Okay. So we got that, that, that. And now what I want to do first here is I'm wanting to take these and I want to put this one on the inside cover here. Like this. Sorry about the glare, you guys. There's not much I can do because it's just a shiny plastic, but so I want to put this one here and I just take my little, uh, I have my little hot little iron and I just iron it down real quick and then just peel it off. I'll go over to my table and iron it and then I'll come back and show you guys and I'll peel it off for you so you can check it out. Uh, so I got that and I want to put there and then this one I want to put just over here. I'm trying to think which way I want to go with it. I think I'm just going to go like this with it. So those will be fun just for some decoration in here. Okay. So those are going to go like that. And then this, I want to go into the front here with it, line it up with it all closed. And 
then I'm just going to take my spackling and just do it all along here. And then it'll be, when it's closed, it's all together like that. And then it'll open up. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go over and just uh, get these ironed on. And then I will be back. Okay, guys. Before... I go and just iron it to the journal. I don't know why I didn't think about fabric because it wouldn't be me without using fabric, right? So I'm going to iron it on to these coffee dyed pieces of fabric here. And then we can build up around it and do some lace on it and all that fun stuff to it. But I wanna iron it to this one and then make a cute little tuck over here. And then this one will just, we could just decorate and glue it down and stuff. So let me go do that. I'm going to get it ironed onto fabric and then we'll go from there. Okay. So I got them ironed on here. I'm just going to take it. Just peel it back. Just like that. And then this is just a piece of plastic. And then there's this one. on the fabric and this stuff stays really good I mean you could take it and bend it around and I make a uh, banner flags and um, I put one outside I tie-dye banner flags and uh, I put it outside with a crow on it and left it out there like all summer and winter with the rain hitting it and stuff and the vinyl did not come off uh, the tie dye will fade because you can't have it in direct sunlight like that. The writ dye after a while, if it's the sun just pouncing on it and just, you know, beaming on it, it'll fade it just like anything. Like if you stuck a t-shirt out there, out there all, uh, summer, you know, and the sun just beating on it, it would fade, you know, just like anything you would have it outside. But this vinyl, it stays for a long time that uh, so far that I've noticed. And, uh, yeah, it just irons on and it's, it's good to go. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to build these up with some fun things and, you know, maybe sew some things on and stuff. And I got some grungy uh, paper here. I made this with you guys. It's a, a fun way to, uh, to dye with coffee dye for paper. And then I did extra grungy on it. So I'll put that on the end screen. And you guys come check it out. This one's just fun to play with. So I was thinking of ripping pieces of it and maybe sewing it on and incorporating it into a little collages to do for that. So I got that and then I just got some coffee dyed fabrics here and some laces, um, things like that just to play with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a time lapse and I'll be back.
So let me show you guys what I did so far here. So I just went ahead and put some paper in the back, did some fun, fancy stitching. I did the coffee dyed, the grungy paper. I thought that looked a little bit cool. And that's gonna stick out when we close it. It's gonna stick out like that. So I think that's gonna be fun. Um, I just went and did some layering. I had some pieces here that um, I did this cool feather stitch on these little scraps. So I just put that with some, uh, just some threads behind it. I uh, did a little cluster here, layered it up with some lace, some threads, did some feather stitch and did that. So that's all ready to go. And that's gonna get glued onto there. And then over here, I just did some lace, some coffee dyed fabric, um, some other just fabric I had, some threads, glued that all together. Uh, did a little bit of just a burrito cluster is what I call these and then put a, just a little button on top of it. So that's going to be glued over here. And I think we can make this into a little tuck. Hopefully that'll work out. So I want to do all that. Let me get that going real quick here. So I want to line this up to where when it closes, it goes like that. And then you can see the stitching, okay? So I think I'm gonna just line it up like that. I'm gonna take my glue. I think I'll just go like this with it. And just get the edges. get anything. I have a just a little baby wipe here. It's a little wet wipe. So any glue that seeped through. And a paper towel will work too. This is good. Just get anything that came through here that you don't want. Okay, so that's gonna be a fun inside. Now let's go ahead and try to make this into a, I think it'll work. I just don't know if it's too flimsy up front here. So I'll just catch anything I need to with the glue. Like that. And I'm just gonna go and make it into a tuck. through and glue everything how you want it. Okay, so I think that'll be a great tuck. Just be able to tuck stuff in there. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm thinking this is gonna be it for the day here because I want this to all dry and so it doesn't, I wanna leave it open overnight to let it just sit and dry. And uh, the next time I want to go ahead and do the front here and the, we'll do 
thinking I want to kind of go like this with the feather on this side and then maybe over on this side. I don't know. We'll see because I'm really like in the middle here. I don't know if I want to go across it like that. So that's what it looks like when it's closed. So I want to do that with you guys on the next video and we'll put our little closure on here too and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys to see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share. And let's grow together. And keep on crafting.